Guys, MGH Lover 11 here. Well, if you can tell, other than the grass and the trees, but I got foam board down and I got masonite down or on the side. So that is an improvement. Second thing you'll notice is I started planting, uh, well, this is the grass mat here is from the, uh, the Big E train show, which I didn't think I was going to make it until like the last two weeks before, so we found some money. As you can tell, the furnace is running and don't sound normal. And as you can tell, there's a Christmas tree where the oil tank was. So I've been, we've been, we replaced the furnace with a gas furnace, got rid of the oil tank, so that's an improvement. And then, uh, uh, Bought all the foam board last uh, September, so, or late August, September-ish, so, and then I, uh, let's see, I, I, I bought a lot of stuff, train cars and stuff, since the uh, train, or since my last layout update, but, uh, this last little bit here, it's a notch branded, so. That's what I'm using, so if you can barcode it, yeah, go ahead, but uh. Yeah, so I bought some of that. I bought more leaf flock stuff. I bought what else did I buy? I didn't buy any rolling stock. I didn't buy any anything. I stopped doing HL. No more HL. Well, a little bit, but I still have a few rolling, a uh, couple engines and a couple cars. Well, more than a couple, but and uh, I had to commandeer the uh, scrap yard and part of the uh, freight depot for the uh, engines to park in uh, just for the uh, the sake of parking them because kind of no fit on the layout and my yard is still not built and then right from the end of the layout to my toolbox is going to be uh, an addition about three foot square about that addition so it's going to add a little more yard so instead of going as you can see with the lines this way I can have them go this way and have them fit more. And then, uh, let's see, oh, and then I bought, recently I bought this, this is a MTH, uh, RPO car, which, if you know Amtrak, and you watch Amtrak, uh, video by a company called Pentrex, Northeast Corridor Combo something or other, they don't run RPO cars, they use them as package cars, they, uh, they make the doors bigger and then they uh, decal a DP or BD. And then with, I bought this RPO car, which I already took our, all the RPO stuff off of it. And then I bought this, if you follow me on train life, you already know about this stuff. This is a, uh, MTH Conrail U25 with ProtoSound 3. Uh, it, it's pretty nice, it, you know, it runs nice, pulls nice, it has nice sounds. We'll have to get a video up eventually, but, uh, and then I don't remember if I had, I think I had it back then, but of course, the, uh, I don't know if I showed it, but, uh, I put a, uh, 
I bought a mail car off of uh, model train stuff and then just recently I got it in just Friday yes yeah, so Friday I finally completed my set with a guy off of a uh, guy off of eBay a uh, different guy from the RPO car in the U25 but he uh, he was breaking up the four car set that I needed I just bought the one car really that's all I need but now there was no box uh, because it was a breakup and whatnot. So, yeah, I don't mind. I got a few cars here and there that don't have box. Oh, and then also at the show, I bought two tortoise switch machines, which I still have to uh, finish hooking up. I had an issue and I broke a throw bar, so I have to buy a new switch. But also, with this, I do have, with this layout update, I have did something big uh, other than what you already seen. I finally took the, uh, and made a sighting. This is for the uh, grain elevator, and then there'll be an probably another siding there's my thing right there from there to there which will be going into some kind of warehouse or tank industry I, I fully haven't figured it out I started building a building but it didn't come out as nice so yeah so uh, it didn't work out so I and then I bought two rolls of, uh, Woodland Scenics Roadbed at the train show too from Woodland Scenics so I think that's all I bought only had like $115 mostly because there was no snow until like three months ago or two months ago we must have 50 something inches, which is a lot worse, better than Massachusetts, but. And then I think I finally named the Freight Depot. It's going to be Reynolds Freight Depot. He's a uh, fellow uh, uh, train lifer off of Train Life, a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, haven't personally met him, but. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that's who he's, who, or, is, uh, he's gonna appreciate that. He, uh, named an industry on his layout after mine, so. Reynolds Freight Depot is, so. Until next time, guys, talk to you later.